always wanted to be a model. I was obsessed with it. I mean, I read every fashion magazine from the time I was 12, but I never thought I would become this. Never. A versatile, statuesque and striking beauty, Linda Evangelista was one of the most coveted models of the 80s and 90s. Able to totally transform her appearance job to job, she earned a reputation for being a chameleon-like talent in the industry. Having risen to heights that transcended the fashion industry despite not venturing off into many outside endeavors, one could even say that Linda was the most enviable model of her time. Linda Evangelista was born May 10, 1965, to parents Tom and Marissa. She grew up in a devout Roman Catholic home and attended Catholic school throughout her youth in Ontario, Canada. She also attended a charm school at the age of 12 where she received some early modeling training. Then at age 16, after participating in a beauty pageant, which she did not win, she caught the attention of elite model management, who soon offered her a contract. In 1984 at the age of 19, Linda appeared on her first cover. And a year later, in 1985, she began a working relationship with Carl Langerfield and Chanel. From there, her career took off, seamlessly making the transition from editorial to runway. Working with brands as diverse as Ralph Lauren to Pizza Hut, it was in 1988 that Linda famously cut her hair at the suggestion of world-renowned photographer Peter Lindbergh. The two would then collaborate on the iconic white shirt picture. Surprisingly, the haircut was initially met with contempt by the industry, resulting in the cancellation of 16 runway appearances for Linda. However, the look ended up becoming a signature, with the haircut being known all over the world as the Linda even leading to the creation of a wig called The Evangelista. Throughout the 90s, Linda was one of the most in-demand models on the planet. Famously quoted as saying, we don't get out of bed for less than 10,000. It was even rumored that she was paid 20,000 just to walk in a single show, a sum that was thought to be outlandish at the time. But it was Linda who is also credited with raising the pay scale for models. And in 1996, she signed a $7.5 million contract with Yardley of London. But she would soon retire from modeling in 1998, only to return three years later and be voted the greatest supermodel of all time by fans of the television program Fashion Files. Today, Linda is a mother who is known for her charitable works. And though she is no longer in the spotlight like she once was, her influence is still felt on the industry today. The one I've decided to do this season for free, each season I choose a young new designer to support. Allure, I have Italian vocals, Stephen myself. Every day I work 